Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Down. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. So, so TNT. Yo. Have you seen? Like, I, I literally thought I was watching parody Twitter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where Elon Musk was calling Zuckerberg a cuck and said that they should measure measure their penises. Did you see those? Zuck is a cuck. We should have a literal dick measuring contest. Um, like, what the hell is happening in the world right now? All right. So what is happening in the world right now is that Elon Musk bought Twitter because of a meme, and uh, he's fumbling the the bag. Like seriously. Um, apparently there was how many, a hundred million, a hundred million people went to threads. Oh yeah. I got, I got, I got a note about that. Hold on. I'll fall. Just keep talking. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. So apparently there was a big outpouring for the threads app. Um, and honestly the whole, the whole, like, I'm going to fight, uh, I'm going to fight Zuckerberg from Elon came after Elon, after Zuck announced that he was coming out with the, uh, with the, uh, Twitter, uh, (laughs) <laughs> the Twitter opponent, I guess. Right. Well, yeah. So, well, so like, it, and he was mad because, like, he fired I mean, people from Twitter. And then and, they were going. <laughs> and they went to Meta and made a Twitter clone. And then he was complaining, like, yo, the guys that I fired are taking their talents back <laughs> over to here. And they LeBroned right over to Meta. Yeah. And it, it's, it's, I mean, honestly, like, look. It, it's so sad because it's like you see the fall from grace. Like I loved Elon. I still like Elon for the most part. I'm not like an Elon. Like I'm not like polishing. Like a stan. Yeah, I'm not a stand for Elon, but I, I did enjoy. Like I liked the idea of Tesla. Neuralink was crazy. He seemed like a, a tech billionaire that you know, like you could have a beer with. Yeah, now and, he's, and, and he's a little awkward. He's on the spectrum. Like you know, like he just he's seems on like, the spectrum. Is crazy. He is on the spectrum yeah, yeah. too. But I don't know why that would be an incentive. <laughs> no, I mean he's just like more like an average, like an average normal guy. He has like you know, it's not. He doesn't seem like he's. I don't know. He does, just, does he seem like an average guy? He seems pretty. Uh, I don't know. At a loss for like some social just, like, skills. Yeah, a little that's bit. The spectrum part of it. And there's a lot of people yeah, who are, that's, who that's are socially awkward, man. That's true. He, I, okay, I'll give you that. He does kind of give like that air, every man appeal, but not not I don't know, not so much anymore. Like there's been enough stories that have come out. So, I don't Yeah, I don't well, know. They're not going to measure dicks. They're not going to fight because the picture of Mark Zuckerberg Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg looking all lean and freaking fit came out. Oh yeah, homeboy's it, been doing BJJ. Like he's out here like bro, fit. He would kick in, he would kick my ass right now. And oh, I, I have no problem saying that Mark Zuckerberg can kiss my kick kiss my ass. Can kick my ass. He, he, he can do that too. No, I don't want him to kiss it. I want so, him to pay it. What they said though, <laughs> I saw a post today online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in so that first week there was a huge rush to threads. And then somebody mm-hmm. was like so it's only been out like a week, yeah. and they noted that Zuckerberg hasn't even posted on it in like four days already. The use, the interest has went down twenty percent, and people are spending fifty percent less time on it already in a week. Yeah. So it's like they go over and they're like, "Oh, this is just Twitter," but there's not as many users, and they're just like, "Oh," and like so basically like yeah. I mean, a lot, I feel like a lot of people that went over earlier just like early adopters and hoping it's like uh, well, they want they want that they want that like at John thread name and some famous dude's gonna be like i'll give you 10k for your handle like that's what they want that, that, like, that like is the tr- definitely part of it yeah. yeah like the guy who had like books.com back in the early 90s sold that ish for a ton of money because somebody wants books.com right that's fair so that's fair. you get in there get all the good names and then get the hell out and then don't use it anymore yeah I, I think that a lot of impetus also comes from the fact is like if you can start flooding threads with information the people who do actually stick around are gonna be like oh i like this guy's content because there's a uh, Obviously, there's a drought for content. Um, I wouldn't say. I like, mean, you know, there ain't enough social media out there. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're like, I'm honestly going to switch to threads because Twitter has become a cesspool for like hate speech and just like, like he's letting anything fly on there. So it's not. It's 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 like the four chan of, of social media. I anymore. mean, it's getting there. You ain't wrong. Um, I've never really been a big Twitter guy, but I imagine that if something new was coming along and people were excited for it, that it, it if I were social media, you know, if personality. I needed something new to waste my time, if like say an app that I used for a long time stopped working and I needed something new, 
I would think about doing it. But you know what? That exact scenario came up, and I didn't even go download it because I don't trust Meta. Uh, I know, Jonas, but social media engineering is intense. Integral. I mean, how are they going to audit my thoughts and like influence me and put me in an echo chamber if I'm not on there? We're 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 podcasters. We are YouTubers. We're influencers. We're in. I don't know. <laughs> I hope I influence you to do the right thing, maybe. But uh, yeah, all, all of those things taken into consideration, we the, the, eat Jif, not Peter Pan. That's no. what I'm influencing <laughs> oh, out wait, here. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> What's I, your deal I, with I, Peter I, Pan? I, I would get you going. Hold up, no, dead ass. Like, hold on, let's stop the podcast. <laughs> Maybe we need it. to turn the cameras off. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, <Yeah>. break. <laughs> Cause like you going you going a little overboard. Like usually I let you speak. I let, you know you let me talk. I let you talk. We just talk. You gonna say take... Peter Pan's trash? Like what the? Yeah, you could straight come out here right now on the podcast and like claim your love of QAnon, and I'd be like, all right, Jonas is you know he's cooking. And then if I'm like Peter Pan's garbage, but you're like, you start he's talking talking. shit about Peter Pan. I feel like we might need to just like have a conversation. <laughs> Like I'm not trying to intimidate you. I just want to know, like, you know, why you why Peter you Pan decide? with honey, though, right? What's that? Peter Pan with honey. Oh yeah, yeah. that's the jam. That's the only, that's the only jam. I, I will, look. I will, I will not lie. I never, like, I never. I know, I know you really are into peanut butter, like yeah. it a lot. Like I've been okay. What, what is that? I don't like the way you put that out there. <laughs> like, <I'm not> <laughs> Clarify <laughs> to the I people. I didn't say you're Clarify. having sex with a jar of peanut what you, butter. What is a lot? What does that mean? What is that? You I, like, like it a lot? What is the? Yeah, what is that? What does that mean? What does that mean? I mean. You, I would say it's something you enjoy. Well, I don't know. What do you mean I enjoy it? Explain <laughs> to the people. Excuse me, funny man. What do you mean? I no, enjoy it? <laughs> not explain it to me. Explain it to the people. What do you mean I like peanut butter? What does that mean? You, you enjoy. Shut up. You know what, what it means. That? It's not for me. It's not, I'm not the one asking. If, I, if you told me I like cheese, what the fuck does that mean? He's like, I eat I, cheese. I, I like it. Like, this motherfucker eat cheese like all the time. That's what I'd be like. You'd be like, oh. You know, I think you got, are you, you are you shamed? How much you like peanut butter? I don't so? know. Should I be? I don't know. You tell me. I don't think so. You're the one who brought it into a conversation. How much I like peanut butter? What's the problem about peanut butter? Like, listen. Anyways, I was giving you kudos, bro. Kudos. Like, oh, congratulations! You love peanut butter. So. Good I job. I had never dabbled in honey peanut butter. It's the bomb. I uh I had only it's eaten s- smooth peanut butter. I'm sorry. And you were like, this honey. It, and then like H E B had a honey jar, and I was like, H E B had a honey jar. I was like, oh damn. It I, has. And then I went back to eat regular peanut butter, and I was like, this is trash. It is. It it's, is. It's like if you don't put the honey in it, it's just like it's it's just you might as well just throw it in the garbage. You're yeah, hundred percent. Better not have nuts in it either. Better, uh, not, better not go chunky. Yo, crunchy peanut butter is a sin. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's a Catholic Coming church. From someone who really likes peanut butter. You should, <laughs> should listen to this. Uh, man. Pretty, I don't know how much I like it though. Uh, <laughs> apparently, though, I'm a, I'm an aficionado, and crunchy peanut butter is a sin in the Catholic Church. Um, peanut butter without honey is just like I don't know why you're doing that to yourself. If like, you've never honestly. tried it, try it. Yeah, 100%. it'll change your life. It's a big difference. Unless you're allergic to honey or something. Don't, yeah, don't do that. Like uh, peanut butter already has a lot of sugar in it. I mean, ketchup has a lot of sugar in it, so yeah, there's a lot of sugar lot of, in it. I'm sweet enough to have sugar in me. Yeah, but I don't. But if you're a peanut butter f- person yourself right now, you know, I would suggest getting honey peanut butter for the rest of your life, and it will change your life. If you live in Texas, try the H-E-B brand. It's not bad. I'm, I'm going to say uh, Peter Pan is probably the best. And this, this is where we were at. This is where the whole point of contention came from. I just said it because I know Why you do Peter. you hate Peter? Explain that. I, I just lit. Oh, the timer went off. That's all the no. time we have for today's episode. <laughs> no timer? <laughs> No, I did, I was just said that because I know you eat Peter Pan. I know you would bring. It, it would oh, you, up. you were baiting the emotional baiting. response yeah, out yeah, of me. Yeah, I was socially engineering. This that. is what I'm talking. To. See, you already use the YouTuber trait of baiting the uh, the angry. Oh, response. I bait a lot. Oh, yeah, I will bait all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure Are to like, subscribe for Jonas TNT. Okay. I guess we're done. Bye.